Force Stimulus Check. This is Javita Lake with your Force Stimulus Check and Force Stimulus Package Update. Why do I have to say this? Why do I? I have to say Force Stimulus Check and Force Stimulus Update like a robot? Why? Oh, because it indexes the video better on the algorithm? <laughs> Why do I care about an algorithm? I'm Javita Late. I care about scars. I don't care about an algorithm. I mean, force stimulus check and force stimulus package. I'm just supposed to keep on saying as many times as I can so the show ranks really well, even though I'm going to just talk about scars in the show. What's the, what's the purpose of these things in life? I mean, you know, life is supposed to have explained things that make sense. Going to the beach and seven scarves in the summer makes sense. Going to the TJ Maxx sale and getting five for one scarves when it's on sale makes sense. But, you know, repeating, this is your four stimulus check and four stimulus package update for uh, January, whatever month it is. Why, why would people do that? To get money? Oh, <laughs> let's say it again then. Let's just, let's just keep on saying it. It's LA Late 9, and this is LA Late, your lighthearted, easy breezy humor video. If you're looking for a stimulus check, if you're looking to figure out when you're getting your $1,400 third stimulus check, or when you're going to get your monthly four stimulus checks, your student loan debt forgiveness, your EIDL grant, your PPP, your mortgage, it's not in this video. <laughs> it's not in this video. Because that's not what LA Late Night is about. It's about keeping you fun and informed. You know, it's very funny seeing even the comments from last night's video. People who have been with this channel for over a year know what I do. My concept was in 2020, when the pandemic was ravaging Americans, is that people need a laugh, and that sometimes they needed a laugh. And that in a day in which we have 10,000 other videos that can inform you what the latest updates is on your Force Stimulus Check and Force Stimulus Package, that you don't need another video about Force Stimulus Check and Force Stimulus Package, that this Force Stimulus Check and Force Stimulus Package <laughs> Package update. Algorithm, do you hear me? Four stimulus check and forth. That it could focus on some humor. And with that, I'm so excited to bring back from the roaming range of uh, Kowalax and Mercedes, your wonderful, illustrious Sirloin. Thank you for joining me back tonight, Sirloin. Oh, how are you? I'm just very excited. What happened to Javila Lake? She was here and then she just ran out. Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> It's on Saturday. Scarf day. You know, she likes to scarf down the scarves so she can get them. Uh, Sirloin, tonight we have new video I want your input on. Oh, yes, of course. And the video is from the press secretary of the United States. What does she do? She presses things? <laughs> she presses uh, the present suits? No, she does not press the present suits. She presses his pants. She's like the ironer at the White House. She irons his clothing. She presses really well. I personally don't like my my hide pressed that well. No, she does not press as close. She is not the uh, dry cleaner <laughs> at the White House. She is the publicity. The, the uh, yeah, She just answers questions. Well, at least she tries to. Uh, in this video, Sirloin, I want to see if you think she answers people's questions. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let's go to it. Let's get it to it, Elliot. Uh, in the last few days, the press secretary has asked a series of questions. And in these videos, she's repeatedly asked, is the president really having bipartisan negotiations with the Republicans on anything from background checks to forced stimulus? And it seems like she's not really being particularly responsive to the questions. Let me hear your, your interaction and your thoughts on each of these videos. Sir Lord. Okay, let's go. Here is video number one you that this is a priority to him it's a priority to the vice president it's a priority to susan rice who's leading the domestic policy council to bruce reed who's a deputy chief of staff to ron Klain, who's the chief of staff and is from indianapolis and this is a constant discussion and issue around this white house so it's not going to require a czar it is ultimately a priority to the president a czar who's a czar is this this russia <laughs> I thought I thought Russia went away with the last administration. Why is, why is she mentioned czar? No, that is a term that refers to somebody in control. Yeah, we do like the word czar in the United States. I really don't know why. The United States, which is the most important factor. 
on legislation just a few weeks ago, I asked the president if he was going to be making phone calls to Republicans in particular uh, in the Senate to try to advance the background check legislation there. He said he would be willing to. I know the jobs bill has been the priority. Is, is, is there more you can say about the kind of outreach he's been doing on background checks specifically? Well, I don't have any calls to read out um, specifically, but I can tell you that. Whoa, what, what do you think about that, sir? What do, you, what do you think about that, sir? Like, she doesn't really answer the question. He just said, has he made any phone calls? Have, has he moved the, uh, the compass? He hasn't made any phone calls. I mean, why doesn't she answer the question? Let's listen more, sir. Like. Republicans about a range of issues, but there are a lot of topics that certainly come up. And they talk about the cows. <laughs> they do not talk, talk about the cows. She said they talk about a range of issues. She's on the range, sir. Hello, <laughs> late. I told you. She's a cow. How do you know she's a cow? She said they're on the range of issues and they're ready to move the goalposts. You know, he believes that, um, you know, you mentioned the third mass shooting. It's actually the third mass. And then, Sir Loin, there was another video from the White House uh, in that same press briefing. Let's see her exchange with the, with the reporter. Let's see your reaction. Okay. You know, we're hearing you talk over and over again about the president's support of the House bills, but right now it just doesn't seem like they're, you guys have those votes in the Senate. But we've heard from some Republican senators a willingness to work on a more limited package around background checks. So why not pitch something a little bit more limited, try to get something across the finish line? Is the president willing to engage on a more targeted background check bill? I would say that we should, I would punt that question back to the Republicans who. Oh, well, like she's not answering the question again. <laughs> and she's playing football. I mean, I thought she's the person who dries, try cleans his clothing and presses it. Now she plays football with the president? Why is she punting the question back to the Republicans? I, I, I don't think the question's very, res I don't think she's very responsive either. Um, she says, let's ask someone else answer your question, Madam Reporter. Let's listen more. Who are not supportive of universal background checks or an extension of that, which 80% of the public supports. So our question to them would be, why don't you support what the vast majority of your own constituents support? And this is an expansion of background checks, which prevents guns getting into the hands. And then there was another exchange during that press briefing with uh, this reporter. Let's see what this reporter said. You know, splitting it between, you know, just a traditional roads and bridges infrastructure package and then another one with, with everything else in the American Jobs Plan. Is that something that the... So in this video, Sir Lyon, uh, the, pre the press secretary is asked, would the president split the fourth stimulus into two bills, uh, infrastructure and everything else? Uh, what do you think so far about the question? What's everything else, me? Uh, no, why would the ever? Well, it's always about the cows. <laughs> it's always about the cows. LLA, you know this from 2020. The cows always get stimulus before everyone else. And so the question's really interesting. She wants to split the stimulus, the infrastructure bill, into roads, bridges, and cows. <laughs> what? So like, yeah, she, she wants cows as part two of the bill and part one, the bridges we destroy because we watch over them. We're sort of heavy people. Uh, no, that's not what she's asking. Well, what else would be second part of the bill? Uh, $12 ice cream? No. Cow will lap? No. Uh, cow, cow Pacino? No. Uh, Mercedes? No. So what else would there? Well, it's cows, Ella. <laughs> Okay, maybe it is. Uh, let's listen into whatever that second half of the bill is. Um, I just love when reporters ask us ask questions and they don't even make sense what the questions are. The second half of the bill for something else. Um, let's listen to that second half of the, the White House is seriously considering. I would say that is the White House seriously considering. The, the, Sir Loin, the reporter asks, "What is the antithesis of seriously considering?" Uh, laughing about it. <laughs> I mean, the reporter says, is the White House seriously considering the idea? That means um, considering the idea without having $12 ice cream on the brain. <laughs> what? You know, when you drink too much, when you have too much $12 ice cream, ice cream you're, you get a little brain freeze in the head. So are they considering the bill without $12 ice cream hurting them in the head? I, yeah, I, I, I think what that's what the reporter's asking. Are you seriously considering it? Or are you just sort of, you know... Considering them without twelve dollars, it's great. Let's listen in to the remainder of this exchange, if I could find it. Here it is. Um, 
the president's going to have a bipartisan meeting next week and a number of meetings next week where the a jobs plan is going to be central to that. There are a lot of proposals floating around there. One of them is from Senator Clinton. Wow, LLH. She says proposal and proposal and meeting after meeting. It just sounds very vague, LLH. It just doesn't, it just sounds, you know. <laughs> I've eaten I've eaten grass that makes more sense than this exchange so far, LLH. Yeah, it just seems very, very vague. Meeting and sort of meeting and proposals and, you know, maybe she'll make it clear. Let's listen in. Kunta, of course, is a close ally of the president, but there are a lot of different proposals out there. So, uh, he is very open to hearing different ideas, hearing different ways to get these these big ideas he's put forward, this historic investment to modernize our infrastructure, create millions of jobs forward. The mechanisms for that, the construction of it, the pieces that it could flow through, he's very open to what that looks like. Uh, so, LLA, uh, so, Sir Loin, do you, um, do you agree with her contention that the president is very open to suggestions for other ways to do this infrastructure bill? Absolutely not, LA. <laughs> Absolutely not, LA. That's just, you know, that's just, I, I, I have eaten grass that makes more sense than that response. No, the president wants climate. The president doesn't like the climate in D.C. He's very upset about the climate in D.C. And he's going to go to the mat until he gets better climate because he decided to live in D.C. Now, if he was in Delaware where the climate's really good, he wouldn't be pushing for climate. And if he lived where I live, you know, on the, on the herd, uh, out on the range, you wouldn't be pushing for climate. But because he's the president of the United States, because he lives in D.C. where the climate is just awful, awful, it's about as bad as going to a clam bay for Mitch McConnell and then, um, and then seeing him and Nancy Pelosi doing the tango. It's just so bad, the climate in L.A. and D.C. I can see why he wants to do a climate bill. Now, if, if you invited the president of the United States to L.A. with me on the range, he would forget about the climate in about 10 seconds. Uh, but he probably want to buy a Mercedes. <laughs> uh, that's very insightful, Sulloy. That's very, that's very, that's very insightful. Uh, let's see what else the press secretary had this week and see whether she was unresponsive in this exchange as well. Uh, let's see if she answers anyone questions this time. On the infrastructure bill, Speaker Pelosi says that she wants to get this all done by July 4th. Mm -hmm. So how much time is the White House willing to negotiate with Republicans before you start making big decisions about what to push through? Well, we'd like to see some progress uh, and some forward movement by Memorial Day, and we'd like to, the president would love to have the package. Did you hear that, LLA? Yeah, I, 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 I heard that moo. Yes, LLA, she said movement. The president's a cow, I told you, LLA. Uh, you know, it's very interesting because here she says he wants to see some proposals and some negotiations. In the prior video, she said she's already had the negotiations, the proposals. So it's just, you know, I don't know. The only thing that's changing is her outfit, LLA. Yeah, that, <clears throat> yes, that has changed. It's signed uh, or passed, I should say, this summer. Is the White House encouraging the Senate to pass a traditional infrastructure bill through regular order with Republicans? Well, we certainly believe there are there should be agreement. There is agreement on a number of components. We were in. Uh, it's a line. You see that that confusion? I am confused. I like first she first she said there was no agreement on anything. Then she says there is something agreement on something. It, it just it just uh, yeah, I'm a cow and I'm having problems following this. I like encouraged by we've been encouraged by many of the conversations that we've had to date. We look forward to hearing uh, alternate ideas or different ideas as they come forward. Uh, and there should be an opportunity for that. We're also quite open to. What path this takes, uh, we don't. It doesn't. We're not going to predetermine whether it has to all happen in one big package. There are different components that could move forward, certainly on their own. And we, right now, is the time where members and their staff and committee staff are doing the hard work of determining where there's agreement and how things, uh, what vehicles, uh, pieces can move forward through. Do you see confusion with that? that press briefing, uh, Sir Lyon? I do, LLA. First she says we're looking to see some progress between now and Memorial Day. And then she says we have progress already. So I, I, I just think she's sort of confused. If this was a cow, we would not be confused. We as cows know when we go from this lawn that we ate to that lawn. Why? Because we look, the grass is gone. <laughs> 
ate, we ate the grass. And we're like, we've made progress. We've ate the grass. It's time to go to another lawn. Oh, this has not been eaten. Let me go eat this. Like, Ellie, like, your lawn. No, you're not going to eat my lawn. <laughs> you're not going to eat my grass. So like, well, I'm just using, you know, like the, the lawn of the White You're not going to eat the White House's lawn either. So like, well, why not, Ellie? It's probably delicious. You know, it's just, but that's how, Ellie, we, we work on progress as cows. We eat. If it's eaten, then we move on. Uh, you know, I, I assume that's uh, I assume that's how Nancy Pelosi would. You mean her? No, LA, don't put up that picture. Oh, sorry, sir. Like, I know that always bothers your eyes when I put that picture up. Uh, <laughs> let's see another video from the press secretary. Um, oh wait, is that the video from before? Uh, no, I guess it's just you know. <laughs> I guess she has a couple of these outfits in sort of the same color scheme. Yeah, and I think there was another one that was red from Wednesday. Uh, let's listen in to this exchange from the press secretary, now in blue. Uh, let's see what she was saying in this video. He's, he's, uh, he's starting to consider a range of qualified individuals, so hopefully we'll have more soon. Go ahead. Uh, two tax questions for you. 17 House Democrats said earlier this week that they won't support um, any tax legislation or the component of the infrastructure plan that the president proposed unless it does away with the $10,000 salt cap. I wanted to see if that's something the administration would consider. And I, I don't understand this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might be confused. The, 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 there's 17 Democrats who want a salt cap. Uh, they want the cap from the salt container. <laughs> I don't understand this, LA. I, yeah, I just, you know, it's, it's the cap on the salt container. 17 Democrats want the cap on the salt container. But LA, I mean, you need a cap on the salt container. Otherwise, the salt goes everywhere. Uh, you know, we need low sodium in this country. Uh, I'm a cow. And, you know, you, when, you, when, you, when you are on the range, you do not want to add salt to things. So you put the cap on the salt so it doesn't spill everywhere. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's the same type of cap they're talking about for salt, but let's listen in to this very salty exchange from this uh, press reporter about salt and, and their caps. Well, I would say first, we welcome ideas. We welcome proposals from a range of members, and many of them... And Lily, this is the same interview. No, it's a different one. She just has the same response. We recommend, we rec, we welcome a range. Of, yeah, there's that word again, Lily. Range. Yeah, we welcome a range of of ideas from different groups, and uh, and uh, and then we throw them in the, in the waste basket as soon as we get them. Let's listen in more to the range of comments that they welcome. Them have been quite vocal about their views on the salt deduction uh, as well, so we're familiar with them. Uh, there's a meeting later this afternoon with Ron Klain and Steve Reschetti, I think with some of these members and others, there's a range of topics they'll discuss that are of, of interest. She sure says word range a lot, LA. Like, yeah, she does say that word a lot. Yeah, it just, it just reinforces who she really is. I, yeah, she's not just like a cow. To so. them, and I'm sure they will, I would guess they would raise this. Uh, we're also interested in proposals on how to pay for a package. Uh, and as you know, uh, the SALT deduction would not be a revenue raiser. So uh, they may come with proposals and ideas on that as well. But we're certainly happy to hear more from them on the impact and why they think this is so important to their states and communities. Hey, Lily, I don't understand this. No one wants SALT. So why would they want more SALT? <laughs> I just, I don't know, Sir Lloyd. I mean, Sir Lloyd, do you have a high sodium con uh, high sodium content? That's very personal, Adelaide. You know, you don't pay me enough to know my personal medical history on the show. Yeah, <laughs> you're a cow. I don't know your personal medical history. I don't know if 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 your slide of beef comes with with salt on it. Adelaide, <gasps> that's just not funny. <laughs> Sorry, Sir Lloyd. Uh, yeah, you know, um, most people prefer things not salty. Yes, that's true. Um, you know, Blaine 66 would be among those people who would not put salt. <gasps> Don't say his name. <laughs> like, we do not put salt on, on, on ribs. We're cows. We just eat them naturally. We, well, we don't eat each other. We eat grass naturally. Uh, you know, it, it's very interesting, this sort of exchange with the president, Sir Lloyd, because the president is, you know, trying to say that he's welcoming a whole range of possibilities. <laughs> So there, there, that is a word, LLA. And then yet the press secretary can't really tell us uh, who he's meeting with and what he's actually doing. I mean, what do you think about it? Sound vague? Is she being evasive? Or are these sort of faux negotiations? Do you think these are sort of fake negotiations and that they really aren't going on? You know, it's sort of like um, 
uh, you know, a fake fur. <laughs> you think it's fake fur? Uh, I'm like, I don't wear fake fur. I'm all natural. I am a cow. And all these spots you see on me, these are natural. Now, um, now Betty the cow, she has had done a little work on her. <laughs> She's done a little work on her. She's a Beverly Hills cow. Uh, so that's why she just looks a little bit, uh, you know, better nose than, than the other cows. But no, I'm a real cow and cows like to be real. And, you know, if you want to talk about being on the range and a range of ideas, then as a cow, you actually set it. You actually do it. This exchange, Galilee, I really don't know. I really don't know. But does it get me more moolah? Well, no, it doesn't get you more moolah. You rather have <laughs> no negotiations. You rather have reconciliation because reconciliation was what gives you the big moolah across the board. Oh, Lily, put up the graphic. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me let me put up that graphic again. The big moolah that you would get if you got fourth stimulus, those monthly stimulus checks out the door. Here is that big graphic. Oh my goodness, LLA, I love that graphic. That is the moolah I need for that Mercedes. Yes, it's yes, the moolah for you need for that Mercedes. So did you buy any doggy coin since last night, El uh, Sirloin? No, no, I'm a cow. I do not buy doggy coin. Uh, but you, you do have the um the cow coin. That is your that is your cryptocurrency. The cow coin. Yes, the cow coin and the moolah moolah coin. <laughs> The Bula coin. It sounds sort of Hawaiian. I don't know why. Uh, but I really appreciate your insight tonight, Sir Loin and uh, Javila Light, for giving us the latest updates on EIDL and what's not going through. And your insight, Sir Loin, as to what you think about the press secretary and her response to negotiations. Will you join me tomorrow night, Sir Loin, uh, if you're not? If you're not ranging around, uh, it, it, it depends. Yeah, like, yes, yes. Um, so long as you keep the cap on the salt. <laughs> I will keep the cap on the salt. Thank you for joining me for Saloin. And everyone else, thank you for joining me on LA Late Night. See me tomorrow morning on Early Mornings LA, which will actually be informative. I like this broadcast. And if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member or a cow. <laughs> Stay informed, stay focused, and always stay of ally for more.